We're now into the last few days of campaigning before the elections in Bosnia. The vote, which takes place this coming Saturday, is seen as vital in cementing the Bosnian peace process. One of the parties contesting seats in the Bosnian Serb areas is the ultra-nationalist Party of Serb Unity. The leader of that party, although he's not standing himself, is the once-feared Serb warlord known as Arkan. As early as 1992, Arkan was identified by the U.S. State Department as a suspected war criminal for his activities at the head of the Serb Tigers paramilitary force. Today, the battle fatigues have been swapped for a politician's suit. On the campaign trail in Bielina, the BBC's Jim Fish asked Arkan about his party and its policies. In our program, we want to make the United States of Serbia. We want to make a Serbian country, of course, with all respect for other nations living in Serbia. In my party, I have Muslims, I have Croats, I have Hungarians, I have Albanians, I have all kinds of people. We are not a chauvinist party, we are not ultra-right party, we are a centre party. I don't have nothing against Muslim people or against Muslim population. I have a lot of friends who are normal Muslims. They have their religion. I respect that. I used to visit them. They used to visit me. And it's normal. Are you saying then that the many thousands of Muslims who were expelled from this town and this region were all extremists? Of course Those not. women and children? Of course not all the Muslims are guilty. 99% probably are not guilty. Only this 1%, the same Serbs, they're not guilty. 99% are not guilty. Uh, Croats, the same thing. But the politics make enemies. And probably the best neighbors become enemies. That was this bloody war. The most stupid war we have in the century. What do you say to those governments and people who accuse you of war crimes here in Bielina and, and also in Croatia? Would you be prepared to defend yourself at the Hague Tribunal? The Hague is a political court. It's not a court of justice. You could see that the Hague Tribunal is made specially for Serbs. Let's be fair. Let's see who did war crimes, who put that bomb on Nagasaki and Hiroshima. And then what about Vietnamese? What about those people? They've been bombed, civilians, thousands dead. No one went to the court. They are heroes in the United States. And now we are talking about our crimes. We didn't do crimes, not even one crime. I don't admit never that we or my God did one crime because we came here when the five Serbs were killed, when a long list of Serb, uh, well, Serb were on that list to be killed. But if you didn't commit any crime, then surely there's no problem with going to The Hague and de defending yourself. Yes, but uh, you know that, as I said, I'm not afraid of nothing. You have to know. If I was commanding... In this war I was fighting, I was always first. I was giving example to my units. So the same thing, I'm not afraid of nothing. But as you said, and as I'm telling you, it's political court. It's nothing to do with the justice. Arkan, the leader of the Party of Serb Unity, speaking to our correspondent Jim Fish, who joins us now live from Bosnia. Jim, just give us a, a sense of how popular, in a political sense, Arkan is in the Serb areas of Bosnia where you are. It's very hard to judge his popularity, but he certainly does strike a chord among many Serbs. There were about 3,000 who turned out to this rally in the main square in Bielina, and he did get a, a fairly warm reception. Uh, he was cheered on a number of occasions. It, it's a surreal experience actually being there because here you have um, a number, a, a huge, a large crowd of impoverished people who've been through a war and have got really very nothing, nothing to show for it. Um, listening to a man who's uh, dr dressed most immaculately in a stylish dark suit, surrounded by uh, his, ca his glam uh, glamorous candidate, uh, Liliana Peric, who's the lady who's standing uh, for president of the Bosnian Serb Republic, and all his uh, bodyguards in their, in their sharp suits. It's, it's, a, it's a, a really uh, extraordinary contrast of wealth and, and poverty. But nevertheless, he does seem to be, he has this... Uh, this, this charisma which does draw people to him. Briefly, is there any sense of embarrassment on the part of uh, international bodies running this election that here is a man identified certainly by the US as a suspected war criminal, although, although not indicted, uh, running around campaigning an election which was supposed to bar war criminals? I think everyone would rather that uh, he just uh, went away and, and did no campaigning or, or anything like that at all, but uh, that's not the reality. He's not the only one. There are a number of uh, very shadowy characters. Uh, Vojislav Shechel is another paramilitary leader who's 
uh, who's uh, campaigning st and putting up candidates. Um, there's very little that the international community can do about this. In fact, it's been revealed in the last uh, week or so that, in fact, the international community through the OSCE is actually funding a lot of these parties because it, it has to be seen to treat everyone equally and therefore every party, whether, uh, whatever their origins, has to, be, has to be in receipt of campaign funds from the international community. It's one of the ironies of Dayton. Jim Finch in Bosnia.